Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Amy's Favorite Things. I'm Amy Eversol, the Adult Services Librarian here at the Prairie County Public Library. And today we're gonna to be making homemade peanut butter cups. So what you're gonna need for this um, recipe is a 14 ounce of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You're gonna do half it here in just a second and you're gonna save half for later, so they're divided. You need a cup of creamy peanut butter, uh, six tablespoons of powdered sugar, and four tablespoons of butter. You might notice here, I have my uh, butter under this glass jar because I saw this hack. I, you always need to look because your butter has to be softened. And when I was checking, rechecking my recipe this morning, I said, oh goodness, I didn't set my butter out. So I YouTubed how to melt this, make this soft in a hurry. So I took like a couple of cups of boiling water and I put it inside of this cup and then, or this jar, and then you just pour it right back out Get you a plate, a couple paper towels, and cover your hot glass, you know, put your hot glass over your butter. In about less than 10 minutes, your butter is good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I got half of my semi-sweet chocolate chips in my uh, microwavable safe bowl, glass bowl. I'm gonna melt it, doing 30 seconds at a time, and I am gonna put it in this muffin tin that I have lined with the um, cupcake liners and we're gonna do about, I think it's half a tablespoon of chocolate into each of one of these liners to start out with and then we're gonna freeze. But the first thing, like I said, I am gonna melt these first and I'll be right back to show you what we do with them. Okay, I melted the chocolate and now I put them in my, uh, about a tablespoon, it said half a tablespoon. So it's really kind of like just, I got just two, teaspoons and kind of going back and forth. I just kind of eyeballed it to where enough to where there is chocolate covering the bottoms of these liners. Now, if you want to get your, your chocolate to spread more evenly, you will need to shake your liners to get your chocolate this completely covered the bottom of your liner. Now, once I have this done, I'm going to put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And while it's in the freezer, I'm gonna take my butter, my powdered sugar, and um, peanut butter and mix it together. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top of my chocolate. So I'll be back in just a moment to show you what that looks like. Okay, my chocolate's in the freezer. And this is a good time to do your uh, peanut butter mixture while you're waiting on that to freeze. So I have a cup of peanut butter, six tablespoons of powdered sugar, and four tablespoons of softened butter. So now all I'm gonna do is use my hand mixer and mix this up to it's creamy. And hopefully by that time, my chocolate's ready to take out and I'll be back to show you the next step. Hey everyone, here's my mixture, it's all creamy. So now I'm gonna take a tablespoon and I'm just gonna use my measuring spoon here and I'm gonna put this into my cups and it says not to let it touch the liner. Now, I don't know how successful I will be in not touching the sides of the liner, but you may be pretty good. So I'm just gonna can just put a little drop into each one. Then I'm gonna put this part back in the freezer for five minutes. Now, once that I've got that in the, I'm gonna melt the remaining of my chocolate and pour on top. But while I do this, I will be back to show you the last step. So once I get this filled, it's going right back in the freezer for five minutes. Okay, I got my peanut butter cups just out of the freezer. And while the last few seconds there, while it was in there, I went ahead and saved my bowl from the first time we made the chocolate, put the rest of the chocolate chips in there and just melt it down and stir it until it was smooth. Now I'm just going to take and cover the tops of my cups with the chocolate. And again, you might have to shake to get it to coat evenly. And then once this is covered and I got this in the freezer, I'm going to let it freeze for, 50, uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. You can also refrigerate it and that would, you would only, you, if you refrigerate it, it's going to be about 15 to 20 instead of 10 to 15. Just check on it as you go to see if it's ready to be taken out, depending on how set you want your chocolate. 
but I'll be back in just a second to show you our finished peanut butter cups. Okay, we're back. And here's just a few of my peanut butter cups. I, w I picked the best ones out because I told you before when I was doing them, I would probably have a hard time not letting the peanut butter touch the sides. And you can see there is a little peanut butter right there. But these are the best ones out of the ones I did. Um, they're frozen, ready to eat. Can't wait. But we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Until next time, stay safe.